If you're one of the hundreds of aspiring actuaries that has recently failed an actuarial exam, then this video is for you. I know during this time, it often feels like you're going through this alone. It feels like you're the only one that failed the exam, especially when you're seeing other people post their success on the exact same exam that you took. Failing might make you question whether the actuarial career is really a good path for you. It might make you question whether you want to continue pursuing it. It is so important that you know that you are not alone in this. And in this video, I'm going to share some inspiration with you to help you stay motivated on this journey and truly convince you that you should not give up no matter how many times you failed that exam because you are worth it, your career is worth it, and truly, I don't think you should ever give up on a dream. So from one person to another who has failed far too many exams, this is for you. I'm Bria, an associate of the Society of Actuaries and leader of the Actuary Accelerator community. Now let's start off by talking about exam pass rates. Now the pass rate for the very early actuarial exams is only about 50% and that includes people that have taken the exam multiple times before. You would expect that those people that have taken the exam several different times are probably going to have a higher chance of passing. So that means that the probability of passing an exam on your very first attempt is really low. These actuarial exams are designed to be difficult. If they weren't, then a whole bunch of people would take the exams pass them and they'd get actuarial jobs. But then the salary for the actuarial career would be lower and we wouldn't have the high quality of person in actuarial positions that we need. Also, the exams create a barrier to entry, which means that not everyone is going to jump over these hurdles in order to become an actuary and get a career in the field. It's what makes the actuarial career one of the hardest careers to get into. But you already knew that going into this, you knew it wasn't going to be easy. And it's because of that that I know you are someone that is up for a challenge. You're willing to work hard. You have the determination to go after big goals that other people would probably shy away from. So because of that, I know for sure that you are going to be able to be successful in the actuarial career. I 100% have confidence in that. You're not going to let one roadblock, just one failed exam, deter you from this big career goal that you have, right? I really hope not. Just imagine what it's going to be like working in an actuarial role. You'll have a career that's fulfilling, where you get to use math every single day. You'll be able to challenge yourself. You'll be able to solve tough problems you'll be impacting millions of people every single day. You'll feel accomplished and others are going to admire you for the hard work that you've put in to achieve this incredible goal. You'll be an inspiration to so many people. Not to mention, you'll be in a career with financial stability. You'll be able to support your family in the future. You'll be able to live the lifestyle that you want. You'll have a good work-life balance, especially once you're done passing these exams. And you'll be able to build an incredible career. So really take some time right now. Think Think about it. Think about yourself as an actuary. How do you feel? Are you loving your life? Are you looking forward to work every single day? My guess is that you're probably saying yes to those questions. And if that's the case, then you're not going to give up on all that just because an exam kicked your butt, right? I really do hope not because exams are difficult. They're designed to be, and everyone almost fails at some point along the way. Now let's think about what failing really means. This is something that I have to remind myself of too, because it doesn't just apply to actuarial exams. It really applies to anything in your life where you feel like you failed or you didn't meet the expectations that you had for yourself. Failing is never a bad thing. Yes, it often means that you have to delay your goals and it takes a bit longer than you originally intended, but what's the big rush anyway? There's no rush in order to become an actuary, right? So this is just one small blip in that plan. We need to interpret failure differently. Failure just means one thing. One thing, it means that you didn't do something right. I know, it seems a bit too simple, right? You just didn't do something right. And that's all, that's what failure means. And that's okay because there's still time for you to figure out what that thing is. There's still time for you to try again. And once you figure out what you did do wrong, you can change it, move on, pass your exam, and you'll be able to achieve this goal. So now you just really have to discover what that thing is, or maybe it was multiple things that you did wrong and that you have to change for next time. So let's 
let's think about that. What are you going to do differently next time? When I'm working with aspiring actuaries, there are really two things that tend to cause them to fail. The first one is their study strategy. Sometimes aspiring actuaries just don't know what they need to do in order to fully and properly prepare for an actuarial exam. These exams are so much different than any other exam that you've probably taken in the past. So having a study strategy that is designed for actuarial exams is really important. And that's something that a lot of aspiring actuaries just don't realize in the beginning. The second reason that I see aspiring actuaries fail is because they just didn't spend enough time studying or they didn't fit enough time into their schedule to fully understand the material. So right now, think back to your situation. Hindsight is 2020. Which of these things do you think went wrong for you? Maybe it was both of them. When I was taking my first actuarial exam, which I failed twice, it was both of these things. I did not know how to prepare for the exam properly and I was not spending enough time studying. Studying was always being put on the back burner. Other things were coming up that seemed more urgent. So I ended up not fitting in enough time. So let me know down below in the comments if you'd like to. I love to hear which one of these was the biggest problem for you. Okay, so now no matter which of those it was, just know that you have 100% power to change that in the future for your next attempt. It's not going to change itself and no one else can change it for you, but it is 100% in your hands. And that's awesome because it gives you all the power. You have 100% power to change this for next time. And that should make you feel good knowing that it's not something that's out of your control. You can make Make some changes and then you can pass next time around. But what you do have to do is decide right now that you are going to change something and be committed to that change. So let's think back to those two different reasons that aspiring actuaries tend to fail their exams and think of what you might need to do differently. If it was your study strategy that was the problem, what are you going to do to fix that study strategy next time? Do you have to do more practice problems? Maybe there were some topics in your study materials that you skipped because they were a little too difficult or you didn't understand them and this time you need to actually go back and understand them. No matter what it is, make sure you figure out where your study strategy went wrong and fix that for next time. And if you're not 100% sure about how to study for your exam, at the end of this video, I will also link to my four part study strategy so you can see what I recommend in terms of a study strategy for exam P, FM or IFM. Okay, so the other option, if it wasn't study strategy, then it might've been your time commitment. Were you able to dedicate enough time to studying? If this was the problem for you, then you might want to consider changing your schedule, maybe remove some things, maybe reprioritize things because right now your actuarial exam has to be a high priority for you. So if you're letting other things take your time away that aren't a high priority for you, then you temporarily have to get rid of those. So make sure you're taking time to think about what that's really going to be. What are you going to get rid of so that you have more time to study for your exam next time. Now, don't be one of those people that watches this video, hears those questions, but doesn't actually take the time to think about it. Really, right now, pause this video, pause it, so that you can go and think about those questions and really come up with a concrete plan on how you're going to change this for next time. The fact that you did fail your exam does mean that something needs to change, and right now is your opportunity to figure out what that is and how you're going to make it happen so that next time you have a much better chance of passing the exam. Okay, so now that you've got that figured out, it's time to push forward. You've been studying now for probably many months. You have a lot of momentum on your side, so that's always a good thing. Everything is fresh in your mind, so you do not want to wait any longer than you have to in order to take this exam again. You want to get it out of the way as soon as possible. So. I highly recommend that you take your exam again the very next sitting that it's available. Exam P and FM are offered every two months, so you really don't have to wait long in order to take them again. But do not let excuses get in the way. Don't let yourself put down your study material for a little bit and then not come back to it for months at a time. That's just going to make you lose motivation. You're going to forget so much of what you've learned and then you're going to have to relearn it again in the future. So it's just an inefficient way to pass the exam 
program, it's going to take you even longer than it needs to. So yes, I'm fully for giving yourself a week of rest to refresh, relax, rejuvenate, maybe do some of the things that you wanted to do while you were studying, but you just couldn't. Maybe hang out with friends, read some books, watch some movies, I don't know, whatever you like to do, but do take some time for yourself. That is really important, but give yourself a week and make sure you are marking a day on your calendar when you are actually going to get back into this, you're going to get back into the studying groove and start your studying again. You do not want to lose this momentum that you've built up to this point. Okay, now trust me, I know what you are going through. I have been through this myself way too many times. Like I said, when I took my first actuarial exam, I failed it twice before I finally passed. And even after that, I failed so many other exams. And honestly, I will put a <laughs> a uh, transcript on the screen right now, even though I'm so hesitant to do this because I, I just don't like sharing this with anyone who would, but it's reality. People fail exams. And I think that's not talked about very much in the actuarial world because people don't want to talk about their failures, but it happens. People are failing. You can see every single time that I failed an exam on this transcript, everywhere where it says a score of below six, that's a fail. So there are lots of them here and maybe not everyone, well, definitely not everyone has failed this many times, but for many people, this is the reality too. So if you're in a situation similar to mine where you failed multiple exams or failed the same exam multiple times, don't get down. You can still do it. I'm 100% confident in that. I understand feeling down about it though. I understand hating that you have to restart your studying from the beginning. I understand that and it it's the worst feeling, but a true actuary does not give up without a fight. So make sure you do everything you can before you let an exam defeat you. Remember, this is your life. It is your career. It is your dream. So don't let it go easily. You have complete control over how this ends. It's only a failure if you choose to give up. Okay. So now I said that I would point you towards my four part study strategy. So this video right here will explain all about about that so you have a complete understanding of what you really need in a great study strategy. It applies for exam P, FM, and IFM, even though it just says exam P in the title. So that is all for today. If this video helped you, please would you give it a thumbs up so that I know that you appreciated it. And if you know anyone else that has failed an exam recently, or if anyone tells you in the future that they have failed an exam, please would you share this video so it can help another aspiring actuary as well well, and hopefully they won't give up on their career goals either. Okay, I will see you next week. Bye for now.